So you can cast a few spells? Am I supposed to be impressed? Okay, smart mouth. How's that for a spell? Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. A supposed madman who wanders the streets of solitude asked me for my help. I'm to get into the Pelagius wing in the Blue Palace. But in order to do that, I need to talk oh, hello. to someone. I think this is her right here. Excuse me, Una? Need something? I need to get into the Pelagius wing. Not in your life. It's dangerous in there. What? And Falk doesn't even like me and Erdy going in every year to clean out the spiders. Falk asked me to check it out. If you really want to, just be careful of the ghost. He snuck up on me once and scared me sick. It took a week for me to feel better. You can catch me at the Blue Palace later, if you want to talk again. Oh, really? I didn't know you were that kind of woman. All right, I'll see Hello, you later. Friend. Good day, guard. Good day. Is this it? Is this the Pelagius wing? Now, someone's supposed to be keeping this clean. Look at this. Look at... Oh my goodness, there's probably giant spiders in here too. Oh, I gave Talium the day off, so I'm on my own. I hope I'm up to this. Oh, ugh, ugh, yuck. Ugh, oh, these spiders' webs are all in my mouth. Ugh. Oh, this is disgusting. This place hasn't been cleaned in years. What just happened? goes right through me. Besides, what? I have so many things to do. So many what? undesirables to contend with. Naysayers, buffoons, detractors. Why, my, my headsman hasn't slept in three days. You are far too hard on yourself. A dear, sweet, homicidally insane Pelagius. What would the people do without you? Dance, sing, smile, <laughs> grow old. You are the best septum that's ever ruled. Well, except for that barking fella. But he turned into a dragon god, and that's hardly sporting. You know, I was there for that whole sordid affair. Marvelous time! Butterflies, blood, a fox, a severed head, ho ho ho, and the cheese! To die for. Yes, yes, as you've said countless times before. Why am I dressed in these clothes? To be like that, what happened I to my mage robes? My leave. A good day to you, sir. I said good what? day! What's going on yes, here? Yes, go. Leave Pelagius? My ceaseless responsibilities and burdens. Sir, what? He that? You, sir. How rude! Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. W where are we? Inside the mind of Pelagius, silly. What? Oh, is it your first time? I think you know that it is. And who were you talking to? Pelagius the Third. Now, surely even you know about Pelagius's decree. On his deathbed, oh, and this was inspired, he forbade death. That's right! Death! Outlawed! 
I'm here to deliver a message. Really? Oh, oh, what kind of message? A song! A summons! Wait, uh, I know! A death threat written on the back of an Argonian concubine! Ah, those are my favorites. Well, spit it out, mortal! I haven't got an eternity. Actually, I do. Little joke, but seriously, what's the message? Okay, I think I know who you are. You're one of those Daedric princes. Shea Gorath. I've read about you. But I was asked to retrieve you from your vacation. Were you now? By whom? Wait! Don't tell me. I want to guess. Was it Molag? No, no. Little Tim. The Toymaker's son, huh? Huh? The ghost? Of King Lysandus? Ah, oh, or was it one? Yes! Stanley! The Tolkien grapefruit from Passwall! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm wrong on all accounts, aren't I? Ha! <laughs> no matter! Honestly, I don't want to know. Why ruin the surprise? But more to the point, do you, tiny, puny, expendable little mortal, actually think you can convince me to leave. Because that's crazy! You don't realize who you're dealing with here. Yes. I do know who you are. All I know is that your people need you to return. Pardon me. What are you saying, something? I do apologize. It's just that I find myself suddenly and irrevocably bored! I mean, really. Here you stand, before Shea Gorath himself, Daedric Prince of Madness, and all you deem fit to do is deliver a message? How sad. So, does this mean you'll leave, or not? Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right, I'm done. Holiday! Complete! Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. What? Are, are you saying that I'm trapped here? W what's the catch? Ha! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated. Makes things infinitely more interesting. Dare to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Gardens. Have you any idea where you are? Where you truly are? Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius. The third? That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure. Sure. Or you could use... The Wub Attack! Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? to use the Wabba Jack. Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. Here we go. You've headed down the path of dreams. 
Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent. Okay. Do I still have any of my magic? I, I don't. I'm, I'm concentrating, but nothing's working. Okay. Who's this? Is this Pelagius? The Tormented. Maybe if I use the staff on him. <gasps> what? Wolves? Wait, my flush spell activated. I still have some of my magic. Now what? You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. No! Get back! What? A little boy? Now what? Ah! Oh no, not a hag raven! Yes? What? Who are these people? A sultry maiden? Ma'am? Oh. Wow, you're attractive. something? I need to get out of here. All right. How many times do I have to hit him with this? Huh? Oh no, not an Atronach. to do this all over again. I don't understand. What was that? So we've got the beautiful maiden and this Atronach. Hold still. Got it. Okay, so we I think we have one more. This thing. to crow about. With Pelagius up oh, and about, it. you're moving right along. We'll both be home in no time. I had to do this twice? Pelagius? Now I see a giant chest. Was this here before? I don't 
doesn't seem to be able to affect anything in this world. Oh, I pick some of that. Hmm. Yes, Pelagius. Yes. yes. I trust you know what you're doing with that spell. Was this better? I hmm. trust you know what you're doing with that spell. Can I speak with you now? No. And I can't open the chest. All right. Um, I think there's another area I need to go to. Well, at least my... Some of my magic is working. Ah! What? Now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, the undead, pumpernickel. But the deepest, keenest hatred was for himself. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. They're always carried out on the weakest part of his wrath. Okay, hold self. still. The self-loathing enhances really? Pelagius' anger. Ah, but his confidence will shrink with every hit. You must bring the two into balance. Never should have come here. Someone there? I knew it. On Earth. No! Your is That's the best you can do! Wonderfully done. Pelagius is finally ready to love himself. And continue hating everyone else. Hmm, you are taller. Got something to say? Um, I don't think I'm done. I'm all ears. You're not both the same size, but okay. According to Shea Gorath, I'm done. Let's go to the next one. Good for me. I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining. <laughs> you might find it less so. You see, Pelagius' mother was, well, let us say, unique. Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a septum. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? Get that part right. Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned in a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered by anyone. The objective here is simple, you simpleton. Use your wabaja to defeat the enemy, or they do the same. shouldn't be the Atronach. Oh, I thought go. you'd never figure it out! With the threat gone, Pelagius is under the illusion that he's safe, which means you've helped him out, sir. And we're that much closer to home. The Atronachs had to be summoned by someone. It was clear that they were never the enemy. <gasps> Why do I keep getting frozen? What? All right, Shea Gorath. I have a saying. I'm not going to feel what you have to like. Or something like that. I've done it. I've fixed Pelagius' mind. Hmm. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like one does to a rash or an arrow in the face. Ah, 
Ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are, you've actually succeeded and survived. I am first to honor my end of the bargain. So, congratulations. You're free to go. Bye. They have been known to change my mind. So, go. Really. Okay. Pelagius Septim the Third. Once the Mad Emperor of Tamiel. Now so boringly sane. I always knew he had it in him. Well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. A trouble Haskell can get into while I'm gone simply boggles the mind. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Clothes, check. Beard, check. Luggage. Luggage. Now where did I leave my luggage? What? Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait to... Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? As for you, a little mortal minion, feel free to keep the Waba Jack as a symbol of my... I'll just take the damn thing. You take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart! <laughs> Ta -ta! Okay, so how do I how do I get out of he what? I'm back. But I'm still dressed in those clothes. My magic is returned as well. But I can hardly move. He's disabled all of my enchantments. I need to put on the earring of unburden. about lock picking Is there anything else in here? I think I need to go what upstairs? sure there are no other books or anything of value. I don't know about these forks. I'm leaving them. the morale of our people in this difficult time. <clears throat> I think we shall have a grand parade and let General Tullius march his troops from the Blue Palace to Castle Dower in all their finery. Hello, everyone. Um, I just wanted to check to see if there's anything else you needed, Jarl. There's something personal I was hoping you would do for me. Okay, what is it? Falk told me what you did for us at Wolfskull Cave. He says you're someone we can trust. 
As you may know, Talos' worship is outlawed in the Empire. When we buried my husband, I made offerings to all the gods, except Talos. I would like you to take an item of his, a warhorn handed down from his father, and place it at a shrine of Talos. Okay, I'd be honored to help. Thank you. It would mean a lot to me. Okay, good day, everyone. So you can cast a few spells? Am I supposed to be impressed? Okay, smart mouth. How's that for a spell? Sibyl Stentor has a grasp of magical theory that I would never have expected from a human, even a Breton. Okay, well my work here is just never done. I have more people that need my help. <laughs> 